in the name of Jesus. I really recommend you that you come to Jesus and get newborn again with Holy Spirit before you get AIDS, before you get cancer, before you overdose on crack or on heroin or cocaine, before you go to jail for DUI, before all of that, I recommend it to you. Don't wait, because sooner or later there will be time in your life when you will pray to God, repent, ask Him for forgiveness, ask Jesus to help you. you do you know how I know that? Because it happened to me. All right. I got sick. And all my pride got flushed down the toilet. You are mortal. You think right now maybe you think you're a really hot shit and you can do something things even things even working out for you. You're really your ego is really big and you're a really prideful person. You know, you're doing all these things, things are working out. But I hope you're not doing it because you're selfish. Because if you're doing it for your own selfish gain, you will lose everything. It can be 10, 20 years, 30 years, doesn't matter. You can travel to every country in the world and gorge on food and take pictures and show all these people that you're such a hot shit that you're traveling the world and look at me I'm traveling to all these exotic destinations okay you're manifesting but but you are not being a blessing to others okay maybe you are maybe you are not if you are not, then you need to reconsider. Okay, if you're doing it to please your flesh, flesh can never be satisfied. Okay, you can have thirty Lamborghinis in your garage. You can have forty Lamborghinis in your garage. Your flesh will never be satisfied. Okay. That's why you need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you need to admit that there is God above you that created everything and created godly laws and put them into place and everything in this world, including your body, belongs to Him, belongs to God, Almighty Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Okay? You will, you will be begging, begging Jesus. When doctors will tell you that you, you have something incurable, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You will pray God. So, to God, my advice to you, don't wait. Don't wait until you are unhealthy. Do it while you're still healthy. Okay, while you're still healthy, start living righteously, repent your selfishness. It's such a blessing to, to preach this to, to Americans, because the entire American culture is, you know, accumulates stuff. Bigger house, more cars, latest Mercedes, you have to have all these latest things because if you don't have these things, people don't respect you or they respect you less. Okay? But you don't need to please people. You need to start building your relationship with God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus.
Amen. Alleluia. Start building your relationships and ask God what is His plan for your life. Then you will not worry about going bankrupt. You will be resting in the Lord with perfect peace in your heart. Amen. Develop relationship with God and ask God in prayer go into your secret closet repent that you've been selfish you've been selfish and you've been trying to please your flesh which is not even yours you we all came from earth you are seed everything is a seed an apple seed makes apple tree and a human seed semen makes humans we are walking trees okay so that's why you need to get Holy Spirit inside of you and and get blessing God's blessing into your life develop relationships with God and be a blessing for others when you get a job you you don't think about getting a job as this is something that you don't like to do in order to get money no this is how you need to think I want to be blessing for other people I want to help other people that's why I'm getting a job okay so for example if you're a gardener you're helping somebody you are helping someone clean their garden they are paying you money for it you are a blessing money is just a side effect of this blessing you receive people giving you money because you're a blessing okay you have a mouth right now I'm a blessing I'm a blessing to you because with my experience of being a piece of shit selfish piece of shit and thinking about only myself with my experience I repent from being that person and I'm sharing it with you so you don't wait until you're terminal you have some kind of terminal illness to come to God because you will praise God devil will dispose you he will use you up you will be running around uh, devouring food devouring alcohol trying to satisfy your flesh with cigarettes buying cig working to buy cigarettes buy booze smoking chain smoking all these cigarettes devil will freaking exhaust you okay until you sick with something terminal God forbid God forbid so take this message seriously you need to repent and reconsider your life repentance is a radical change of attitude towards life to change from selfish ways into the righteous ways okay it's not too late it's never too late if you're still alive it's not too late miracles do happen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ awaken your spirit you have a resurrecting power of Christ inside of you all you need to do is activate it it got it is God's power inside of you already you have already divine in you God's power divine in you now you all you need to do is pray activate it with the prayer and talk to your problem talk to your illness poverty come out sickness disease I demand you to leave my body right now in the name of Jesus I am going to walk in divine godly health I'm going to do what God wants me to do for your own good God made sin because he loves you because sin will kill you God doesn't want to kill you smoking crack will kill you you know that there was a guy in Miami who's like who died at like at age of 40 
and he had everything, you know. People have everything. Apartment, beachside apartment in Miami, all bunch of money, and they just do cocaine, and they die like at the, at the age of 40. Devil will give you everything to satisfy your selfish, selfish manifestations, to satisfy your, your flesh that can never be satisfied. So that's why you need to fast and pray to awaken your spirit. You don't need to fast and pray. You have to believe in God and, and build your relationship with Him. But fasting and praying can help you, can, can help you to get rid of toxins in your brain. All this poison that you are consuming. Once this like you overweight that this fat, all these toxins will leave your body, you your Holy Spirit will awaken inside of you and you need to born again in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. It just feels so good. I feel so good helping people. I feel so good telling you this. Man, listen, before it's too late. It's it's never too late. But you, but before you're sick with something messed up and terminal, before devil messes you up, wake up because devil will sing your songs. You know, I'm walking by the restaurant, I see people drinking. It can feel really good. You're selfish, you're drinking beer, smoking cigarette, you're in a restaurant. You know, there is music playing for you, devil is singing songs for you. But you're doing it, you're not being a blessing, you're not helping other people. Okay? Today I prayed, God, fill my bank account with money so I can bless other people. It's not your money, man. It's not your money. Money can, it's not even your body. Everything belongs to this earth, to this God, to God. You came from nothing. You came from the seed. Okay? You forgot. You forgot that you're mortal. Rebuke the devil and he will flee from you. So I was talking about like the restaurant. The time go, flies by like this, okay? Devil can, you can be manifesting, your ego can be, you, like your channel blow blew up, okay? And you're just wasting money, like you drive in a Lambo, uh, staying at best hotels, like your life is so good, but you're selfish and, and you build pride. You live somewhere in Monaco, you live in Monaco, right? And you have a Bugatti. You don't need a Bugatti. That's prideful. That's selfish. You're driving your Bugatti 10 miles an hour because there is no room in Monaco to go. That Bugatti can go 300 miles per hour. It's a vehicle to test speed. It's a scientific vehicle to test the, like, the limits of mechanics. The genius like of science to test it. You don't need it, man. It's your ego. Ego. The devil. The devil wants you to have this Bugatti. You don't. You don't need it. For what? To drive it ten, ten miles an hour? Well, people buy it as investment because then you can sell it for more money. Okay, that's okay. If if that's what God told you, but did God really tell you to buy a Bugatti? Is it something that you think a right thing to do? Maybe the right thing to do is instead of buying a Bugatti, is saving some homeless person's life, okay? There are homeless people who are sober, you know, who don't do drugs. There are homeless people who are just, you know, something happened. Their parents kicked them out. Oh, there's homeless kids. Their parents kicked them out. Did you build an orphanage? You know, what did you do? You can save, you can save your life. You can save someone's life today. Instead of buying a Bugatti, you can go out today 
and save, like literally save a life of somebody. You can like literally go outside, find a homeless person and you know, find a homeless person that is sober and willing to change their situation. Like you can you need to talk to them. Don't just throw money at them. Because that can, that will kill them. Okay? That will kill that homeless person. You give them a bunch of money, they will buy a bunch of drugs and die from overdose. So you need to find people who are you know willing to change, who are like sober, willing to get sober, make some kind of plan for them, put them in a hotel room clean them, wash them, you know, you can do that. In the name of Jesus, God will bless you with money. I'm praying to God right now to make me healthy and employable. And I know that He already heard my praise. I am healthy and physically fit. I am healed. In the name of Jesus, I am healed. And faith is just a bridge from unseen from seen to un from unseen to seen in spirit i'm i'm healed in the name of jesus so i'm praying to god that he he makes me employable so i can work a job right now i'm working like i'm building a fence i'm working on my little plot of land and i'm using i'm using my mouth i'm using what i have right now I'm using my mouth, I can still talk and save someone's life by giving them good advice uh, with this video, okay? So how many people I have, like, I have two or three people in my ministry. One person gave me, gave me some money in Bitcoin a while ago so I just want you to know that I gave a bunch of money to church here to to the Russian Orthodox Church and I did not buy any alcohol I did not buy any cigarettes I'm I'm uh, I repented I repent well I haven't smoked a cigarette in in three years okay Anyways, anyways, I promise, if you want to give, if you want to sow a seed, your money is not your money. All money, all money is God's money, okay? You can partner with my church here in this tiny, in this tiny house in Russia. You can partner with my church. You can sow a seed by giving and you can trust me that I will spend this money on something good. I will help. I will help somebody. I will. Uh, I will feed. I am feeding with with your money, with your money that you gave me. I'm feeding cats. I'm feeding homeless cats. Um, And yeah, I'm I'm also feeding myself. But I'm not overeating. I'm trying not to overeat. So amen. Hallelujah. Let's just uh, finish this with the prayer. I hope you understood what I'm trying to tell you. I will say it one more time. Don't wait until there is something really messed up with you to come to God. Do it while you're healthy. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, God Almighty, please let this message to rich people. Bless this message, Lord. I want people to come to you and be saved, get their salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Father, for your blessing. We are healed. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. Bless my subscribers. Amen. Thank you.